we hear a lot these days about artificial intelligence. It seems to be the new buzzword and it's being applied across disciplines. What impact has it had in financial services specifically? And can you explain what Holly is? I know it's one of your products. Sure, so our system of machine learning and artificial intelligence is a system that we call Holly. Um, it came from one of our customers early on in our beta tests uh, talking about or acknowledging that if this is gonna work, this is gonna be like a holy grail. And so we thought, holy grail, let's name her Holly. Uh, but the technology underneath that we use is very sophisticated in the sense that we are, we take the day's tape of information, add it to our historical database, derive new data points from that, and Holly creates what's called a quantitative combine. It's no different than the NFL and NFL players running the 100 meter dash and having scouts measure their performance. Holly measures the performance of base strategies that we give her, optimizes them, and then finds and reduces it down to, today for instance there was a list of eight, but sometimes five, sometimes six algorithms and she creates this algorithmic regime of ideas then that uh, we publish to our customers. The, the reason why this data is so important or why our technology is, uh, and why we're growing at such a clip is because we fit a need in the market today uh, where people feel that they don't have access to uh, the best information. And you see that in the trends and the rise of such services as robo-advisement. And there's robo-advisement and then there's trade ideas. In that regard, uh, there's a lot of differences between what robo-advisement does on the portfolio basis and what we at Trade Aid has tried to do on the specific stock level basis of finding alpha at the stock level. And I meant to ask you about the robo-advisors. So are you supplementing their business or do you compete in any way? We think we supplement. We think we excellently complement what, what robo-advisement is doing and is to continue. Um, uh, robo-advisement is all about at the portfolio level um, creating creating ideas or, or taking the, at the portfolio level, uh, managing it to, to an index. And we all know one of the major problems is you're not going to get, you're not going to generate wealth being tied to an index or FTFing, ETFing yourself. So what we do is we look at ways to capture additional alpha. And for robo-advisement firms and for registered investment advisors who are looking for that additional alpha beyond what robo-advisement can do, for that fraction of the portfolio, we apply our technology and capture alpha so that you can do better than the index. 